Hello, this is George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Today, we're talking about the brand new update to M Film Look, which introduces Motion Blur AI. This is an incredible update because it brings this tool not only as its own standalone section of M Film Look, but it's also integrated into every one of the presets in M Film Look. So you can add that motion blur to high shutter speed footage. Maybe you're working with drone footage. Maybe you're doing some speed ramps and you really need that motion blur back into your video. We've got you covered. Now, on to the tutorial. Once you've updated M Film Look, you will now see over in your effects section that you will have the effects down beneath the M Film Look effect here before you hit the presets. And if you scroll down, you will then see Motion Blur AI. So you can see here we have three clips. This first clip has already been graded and it looks good, but there is absolutely no motion blur. This was shot at a really high shutter speed or maybe it was a high frame rate. And then they decided in editing they wanted a faster look. So we need to add some blur. And this one, this was shot at a high frame rate as well as high shutter speed, but we want it to be in real time. So you can see our birds here have absolutely zero blur in the drone. And then in this last one, we have a clip where we did a speed ramp and you can see how it speeds up. But there is again, there's zero motion blur in that clip. So we're gonna go over all three of these. In our first one, since it's already graded, really all I need is the effect. If I have my clip highlighted, I can skim over motion blur and you can already see the blur in his hands just kind of pre-built in there. So we're gonna apply that effect. And then again, you can already see that blur that's being added. I can turn that off, turn it back on. But in this motion blur effect, we have some very simple published parameters. We have our quality as well as our method. We have simple or we have a shutter speed or we have a shutter angle. Now, all of these are really essentially doing the same thing, but if you wanted to fine tune your shutter speed or something like that, you could do so here. I'm just gonna keep it as simple and I'm going to use my slider for intensity to just kind of slide up and down and you can see that blur, how it's affecting that clip. And really that's about it. That looks pretty natural to me. We will click play and you can see that we now have that blur added. So again, here we shot these birds with a drone and they're coming in hot at 60 frames a second, but we really want that to, we don't want that to be in slow motion. We really want the full effect of these blurs flying in really quickly at us. So again, I'm just going to grab motion blur AI. We're gonna drag it on and then you can immediately see the difference that that makes. Let me turn it on and off in the bird's wings as they're flying over towards us really nice we can mess with our intensity again we can turn it up down and we can change our quality so that we can get some different results there and then let me show you like shutter speed so of course one over 24 is super slow but if i wanted to change that to like one over 60 one over 125 something like that and as a matter of fact one over 125 is going to be closer to what we should have been um, because we were filming in 60 frames a second. So let's see how that looks with our blur. Oh yeah, a lot better, a lot more realistic. You can see the difference again. Let me turn that on and off in those birds. All right, and on this last video, you can see we have done a speed ramp. So we're going normal and then we speed up here to 2000% and then back to normal. However, in this speed ramp, you can see that all of our frames are super sharp. There's not really any blur. And honestly, this just looks kind of terrible. So we're gonna fix that. You can also notice that this clip is very flat. That's because it's still in a log profile. So we're going to correct all of this. So let's add M film look. And then we are going to come over here in our inspector where it says color space. And we are going to change this. In this case, we're changing this to D-Log V1. And then we are going to turn on our levels here. And of course you can do this over here with your floating window as well. But we're just gonna use our levels and I'm just gonna bring that exposure up so that we can brighten it up. Add a tiny bit of contrast and there we go. Overall, that looks a lot better already. 
Now, if we did want to use any of the presets as well, you could do that here by then going in and clicking on some of these presets just to see what different looks we would be able to get. I'm always a big fan of the Aurora preset, so we are just going to use that. I will bring the intensity down just a bit. All right, that looks great. And then in our floating window, we do have our motion blur that we can go ahead and turn on. And you can see we have our intensity slider here with our on-screen controls. So you can slide that up and down depending on the amount of blur that you want to add. Or you can come over in the inspector and you should see motion blur is available in our inspector as well. We can adjust our quality if we would like and the method. So you can see here we have simple or we can go to shutter speed and you can make adjustments here with the on-screen controls if you would like or here in the drop down arrow or you can change this to shutter angle. And then again, we have some really neat on-screen controls right here that kind of show you that. Now these are, again, they're all doing the same thing. They're all applying a motion blur, but they do have a little bit of a different look. So you could just fine tune that to what you like. I think the shutter angle looks really good. And I'm just going to keep that at about 180 degrees. So let's see how this looks. definitely much much better that looks a lot more natural when we do that speed ramp and it's not just a bunch of sharp images all right and that is about it for me thank you so much for checking out this tutorial on m film look with the new edition of motion blur ai which is now available via cine studio be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one